Here at the Liverpool ACC, I've been joined by the president of UCHEMS, Pilar Goyalatha. Pilar, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Let's just start by talking about UCHEMS mission and how this Congress supports that mission. Well, uh, UCHEMS is, you know, um, a transnational organization that's uh, composed of different chemical member societies. And our mission is to increase the visibility of, of chemistry by speaking with one single unbiased voice also to present chemistry as an indispensable art in, in, in providing solutions for all the global challenges and to complement national activities by, by networking and, and such congresses are a very good uh, example of that and this Liverpool Congress I am sure will take uh, good care of all of this. There's so much going on this week, but pick out a couple of highlights for you. Yeah, well, uh, to me, and, and uh, I, I, I would uh, highlight the, the, the important role that the European Young Chemistry Network is, is taking uh, part now, because I think the, the future of all of us lies in the youngsters, and, and really we have such a dynamic and, and committed and enthusiastic group of, of young chemists that I think that's really important for, this, for this Congress, very and very exciting, exciting yes. And uh, this is a political question, but I have to ask it, how important is it that this Congress is happening in Liverpool, in the UK, with Brexit looming? Yeah, I, I, I think it's, it's, it's uh, really symbolic and, 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 and iconic in a way because uh, we at UCAMS are very worried of our European dimension and very, very shortly after Brexit we issued a position paper in which we urged the negotiators to retain as strong a relation as possible between the UK scientists and the EU scientists because whatever other solution would be detrimental for both parts. So we, we don't have the political uh, solution, but whatever the outcome is, we really want to keep on having the strong links that the UK and the European scientists have, because as I say, it, it would be a disaster for both parts. So I think it's, it's, it's important that this takes place precisely in a city in, in, in the UK, and it will reinforce this sense that we are all for keeping this relationship. Now I understand there are some significant anniversaries this week. Yeah, because uh, some of our member societies, the chemical societies, have very long and distinguished histories and uh, we wanted to uh, emphasize this, this point and, and we are celebrating uh, anniversaries for societies that uh, are commemorating 100, 125th and 150th uh, celebrations. So we have, uh, I think, uh, up to eight uh, societies from all different places in Europe that are commemorating these anniversaries. And also we would like to point out that IUPAC, which is the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry, are celebrating their 100th anniversary. But I think, uh, as I like to say, uh, UCHEMS is, is more than the sum of its parts. So we really want to give the member societies this feeling that we are a large family. And if they celebrate their birthday, we celebrate it with them. Just finally, Pilar, let's talk very briefly about your plans as president. Well, I, I think it's a great challenge and a great honour to be president of, of UCHEMS and I would like to keep up with what my predecessors have done and I would like to reinforce and, and enhance our mission in, in, in making uh, chemistry really the central sciences and, and convince the, the stakeholders, the financing agencies and the public in general that chemistry will provide solutions to our global challenges. Pilar, thank you for your time. Thank you very much.